episode of Cooking Without a Net. We're going to learn how to bake artesian bread with flour, salt, a little bit of water, and some yeast. That's it. Super simple recipe. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So for this simple recipe, um, we're going to need four cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon and three quarters of yeast, about a teaspoon of salt, uh, and two cups of warm water. So let's start up here. The first thing we want to do um, is get the flour into the bowl. We're going to sift this flour a little bit just in case it'll save a lot of work in the end. Trust me on that one. You know, we'll just sift it through the strainer here. All right, just to get it, you know, just to get rid of the lumps. You know, it'll be easier to deal with this later uh, when we go to uh, shape the bread, get it ready for the Dutch oven. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to tell you the, the fifth ingredient. You will need a Dutch oven for this recipe. Um, if you don't have one, go get one. Your life will change, trust me. I had a Dutch oven now for about a year and uh, I'm learning how to do stuff with it. So you know, we'll just sift this down, get it, get it sifted. All right, this will save a little bit of work in the end. Now I'll just go over here and point out the Dutch oven. Sweet little paderno here. Um, you can use this for a lot of things. Today, we're just gonna use it for the bread. Okay. Now, the next step is, is we have a, a teaspoon of salt. What we want to do is just sort of mix in the dry ingredients right now. And you don't want to go any further than a teaspoon, I don't think. It's up to you, but, but a teaspoon of salt will do it. We'll just sort of sprinkle that in and around the bread here, or the flour here, sorry. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to just stir that now while we can. Just helps with the mixing because once you go to mix the water and the yeast uh, in into this, um, it becomes a little bit more difficult as we go here. Okay, so while we're waiting here, I'm just gonna preheat my water over here in the microwave. Now I'm finding after experimenting with this stuff that if you heat the preheat the water in the microwave uh, for uh, 120 seconds, that's generally perfect. That's just the right amount of warmth uh, for that yeast to work uh, to do its magic within the, the mixture. So we'll just wait this out here, um, get this warmed up, then we'll add the, the yeast to it. Um, now, of course, with this episode here, this, this whole thing is going to take about four hours, but most of that time is just letting the bread rise a little bit. So today's episode, I'll play a song in between. Um, I think with future episodes here, we might get some guest musicians if I can talk them into joining up here for our little trailer park cooking show in the kitchen. Um, in any case, uh, we're closing in on the water now, and... Uh, We'll get to the last step of this, um, and then we'll let the bread rise. Grab a little spatula here. All right, we're almost there. Okay, now what we want to do with this, see if I can get over to this camera here. A little bit better. Now, when we measure out the yeast, um, we want to sprinkle the yeast gently. So I'm going to start out with one tablespoon. And again, it's one and three quarter tablespoons. Excuse me, wait, 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 wait. One and three quarter teaspoons. And I'll tell you why I know that is because one time I made it with uh, one and three quarter tablespoons and we had bread dough covering this kitchen. It was like a mountain. So anyways, 
one and three quarters teaspoon. We're going to gently just sprinkle, sprinkle the yeast around in the water here. Okay. There's one teaspoon. Then we'll go to the to the half teaspoon. Get that in there. Sprinkle that in, and then the quarter teaspoon. <laughs> like that all right we're pretty gold right there now the big thing is, is we just want to gently take this mixture and stir it with a fork just a little fork action in there just to sort of mix it around okay not too much just mix it around a little bit just a little bit get the yeast off there and then we'll just sort of we're going to just get the Bread, the flour ready here and what we'll do um, I'm just gonna gently around the outer perimeter just sort of pour the yeast and water mixture in there and then save yourself a little bit of trouble here down the road immediately wash out your washing cup uh, excuse me your measuring cup because what happens is if you leave it in there and that yeast gets too too hard it's light glue it's pretty hard to wash the cup so at least I found so we'll just wash that out quickly now get it in. okay we're ready to start mixing this flour now so we just gently sort of mix it you don't have to get too crazy just start mixing it around till the water and the flour mixture sort of comes together like this here right flip it out a little bit a little bit here get it going you don't want to mix it too much, but you don't want any dry pockets left. And you don't want any wet, wet pockets left as we're doing this. And maybe just remember to scrape the sides of the bowl because it can be a little bit messy as you go here. All right, so then start looking underneath the dough to make sure there's no dried flour in there. It'll take a little bit. Of course, it won't hurt to mix it too much here, but you don't have to mix it too hard. You know, just get it so that it's reasonably doughy and reasonably no dry spots left with your spatula here flip that over a little bit you know this is kind of fun kind of fun part to do here making a loaf of bread and trust me this bread's going to be a lot better than what you can find in your grocery store unless you're prepared to pay eight or ten bucks a loaf and as a unemployed musician right now learning how to live uh, I'd rather make this for the price of a little bit of flour a little bit of yeast a little bit of water okay so you see we're closing in on this now we just got a big doughy mixture here I need to flip it over a little bit get the rest of the, the yeast and the dough off of it there so so it really should just kind of look like that right you know you not too many dry pockets. I'll just check one more time here to make sure, but it looks pretty good. At this point, we're pretty safe. Okay. Now, the final, the final step at this stage is we're going to cover this up. Now, I like to do it uh, the easy way. We'll find a, find a nice bag here. <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're just going to Put the bowl inside the bag. Right, just so that it's covered, right? Maybe just tie it, just do a quick little tie-up job just to keep it covered. <laughs> if I could tie up a bag, I'm never never good at this stuff. Alright, so tie it up. Pretty good. Uh, so now at this point, you got stuff to go do. It's gonna take about an hour and a half for the first rise. Uh, so set your timer for an hour and a half, walk away, go do other stuff. We'll be back after this has gone through the first rise. Okay, so that's been an hour and a half since we've bagged up the bread. So we'll just gently unbag it here. Now, what we need to do here very simple step. Um, we're just going to sort of flip the dough a little bit, just like this. 
the each sort of side here. Just flip it around gently. Okay, and then we'll just end up like this. Just sort of smooth it around. Make sure we got all the stuff off the off the side of the bowl. Okay, just flip it around a little bit. <laughs> just like that. Okay. And now we'll bag it back up and wait for another hour and a half. Okay, so we're good to go. Another hour and a half. We'll check in then. I'm just waiting for the timer to go off here for this second hour and a half of the bread dough rising. Um, and we're going to get straight to the good part. Oh, there we go. Shut this on here. All right, so we get this bread out of the bag, this future bread. Now, I quickly forgot to tell you one thing on the between the first and second rise. We're actually supposed to stab stab the bread a little bit. What what the reason we do this is to let it get settled in. Um and we'll do another another flip here. Do a quick flip here. Quick flip here. Quick flip here. What we'll do is just get all the dough sort of off the off the bowl and onto the dough pile. Okay, this step's kind of important. So now uh, I've got a little a little rubber countertop surface thing here that works pretty good for bread. If you don't have that, you can just do it right on a on a cutting board or a piece of wood. This keeps it cleaner for me. What we're going to do is just take a take a little bit of the flour. And just kind of sprinkle it around here in the work area. Okay, put it in the work area there. And then we're going to take the dough out. Just sort of scrape the dough out of the, out of the bowl there, flop it onto the flour. Now you're going to find this dough is really sticky. Um, this is why we use some of the flour. Uh, to, to get it not too sticky, you know, you sprinkle a bit of flour over top of that pile right there. Now, before we move on, there's something else that we have to do here. Get it from over here. What you want to do is just slightly oil the inside of the bowl that you've been working with. Um, what we'll do is we'll just smear it around with our hands because what's going to happen is once we prep this dough to go into the, the Dutch oven, um, it's going to sit in this bowl for another quick rise uh, while we preheat the stove and we'll get to that point next, but I'm just going to do this now while we can. Okay, so we're all oiled up there, just a light covering of the oil, not too much. Now, so we've got, we're going to take the dough and just sort of work it around here a little bit. It's going to be very sticky. Like I said, you want to get some flour on it, you know, easier to work with with the flour. Um, and then what we're looking for here, we're going to separate, you're looking for little air pockets. Um, you'll see them, you'll see them sort of pop up a little bit. You can sort of knead, knead the dough a little bit, flip it in your hand and fold it inward. You know, like this, you see little air bubbles, not too many on this one, but they're there. You know, roll it around in some flour. You can, never hurts to get the flour onto it, that's for sure. I'll start to look for the air pockets. Not many in this one. The reason you want to do that is because you'll notice sometimes with a loaf of store-bought bread from the bakery, you'll see like a big hole in the middle. That's because they didn't get rid of the air pockets. The air pockets will bake right in there. Um, so you just want to sort of Go through. I'm going to add just a bit more flour to this. I like working with the flour. So, so far, we're not seeing too much here. It's all pretty good. Pretty 
good. <laughs> oh, there was one right there. Right, so we just sort of keep flipping it around until we've got it in a big ball. Make sure that we don't have any dry flower pockets sitting in there. Let me do that. So we're looking pretty gold here. Just sort of get the rest of the flowers so we don't waste any. Oh, there was an air pocket. So you'll see them if you flatten out a little bit, you'll see a few pockets here and there. Just try to get rid of those. If you miss a pocket or two, it's no big deal. Right? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, let's flip that around one more time. Move that over. And I'm sure there's real bakers out there right now laughing their ass off at me. But hey, I'm just a guy trying to get through life here on a loaf of bread. Okay. So we're going to put the, we're going to put the bread back into the oiled bowl now. Now, this part's key. We're going to preheat the oven to 425, middle oven rack. Okay, so I'm going to start bake. Four twenty-five start. Now, the reason we're the reason that we're doing this is we need to preheat our Dutch oven before we drop the bread into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to preheat this for about a half hour. Very important to leave the lid of the Dutch oven on the Dutch oven. And we'll just let that sit in there for, for about a half hour as it's heating up, maybe 35 minutes because we won't get to the full 425 within, uh, within 30 minutes. Uh, or at least it'll take five minutes to get to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer now for, for about 32, 32 minutes. 32 minutes or so. We'll, we'll let that go. The Dutch oven's in there. Okay. Uh, so now uh, we need to bag up the bread again. While we're doing this, we'll just let it go for the final rise. So basically you're looking at about three and a half hours of rise time for this simple, simple bread making venture here. Okay, so uh, stay tuned. We'll get to the next step uh, as soon as we get done preheating stuff and getting the loaf into the oven. Okay, we're good to go. The stove is hot. The Dutch oven should be ready. Now, this part of the process is a little bit dangerous. Be very careful. Uh, this thing is hot. Okay, so we're going to pull that. Actually, what I'm going to do, wait a second. I'm going to leave that in there for a sec. Let's get the bread here ready first, just so we keep this in order and not we're not in the fumbling kitchen. Okay, so that's what, that's what the bread should look like now. Ready to go. What we'll do is we'll pull out the Dutch oven. Like I said, this thing is super hot, so be careful. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the bread, just get it off the side of the bowl there and just dump it straight into the Dutch oven. you don't touch the sides I think we're pretty good to go maybe a little weird looking loaf but that's okay okay so the, uh, the loaf is in the Dutch oven good to go I'll put the lid back on of course now we're gonna put it back in the oven we're gonna set the timer for 30 minutes um, so for the first 30 minutes, we're going to bake the bread with the lid on and then, uh, and then at the 30 minute mark, uh, which we'll get to, we'll cook the final 15 minutes. We'll bake, uh, the bread without the lid to give it a nice golden brown touch. In any case, let's set the timer.
All right, we're set for 30 minutes. Uh, stay tuned for this week's musical guest. Well, it's me. But anyways, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Today's musical guest on Beardy Crocker Cooking Without a Net is me. As we go along in this series, I'll have some special musical guests, I hope. Uh, but for now, it'll be me. Uh, so today I thought I'd do an old Waylon Jennings song for you. However, I'm going to do the J.J. Kale cover of the Waylon Jennings song. So if you're keeping track of the numbers, this would be a cover of a cover of an original song. So a cover of a cover of an original song. Anyways, this is uh, Waymore's Blues. <laughs> Early in the morning in the drizzle and rain Here on the bend come a long black freight train Somebody yodel, somebody moan Jimmy be dead, he's been a long time gone He's been a long time gone Been a long time gone If you want to get to heaven, got a D.I.E., put on your coat and T.I.E. If you want to get a rabbit from an L.O.G., you got to make a commotion like a D.O.G. Like a D.O.G. Like a D.O.G. What in the hell is the matter with me? Why I gotta love every woman I see? I traveled with her then, traveling again, and every single place looks like a place I walked in. Like a place I walked in. Like a place I walked in. I got my name painted on my shirt. I ain't no ordinary man. I ain't got to work. I ain't got to work. I ain't got to work. Well, we're pretty close now, <clears throat> just waiting on this timer to go off. I hope you enjoyed the musical guest <laughs> that we just saw. There will be more guests for the show as we go on here. It won't just be me. We've got some plans here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's been a half hour. Let's just check in on this. Don't forget your oven mitts. I'll be very careful. This thing's super hot. Right, so uh, we'll pull it out here, 
take a little look inside. That looks pretty good, but it ain't done yet. All right, you see where we're at here? Okay, so back into the oven quickly. <clears throat> we're gonna leave it uncovered now for about another 15 minutes. Although I might check on that around the 13 minute mark. Um, but 15, 15 minutes is generally pretty, pretty good. Okay, we're almost there. So stay tuned, we're almost to the last part. Okay, we are pretty much almost there. We'll just wait for the timer to count down here. There we go. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Hey, oh man, that looks pretty good. We'll get it right onto the rack over here. Again, just be careful, this thing's hot and heavy. We're gonna put this down here. And there we go. That is one sweet loaf right there, my friends. Just get that up. Isn't that a good looking loaf of bread there? All right, well, I hope you've learned how to make a loaf of bread with flour, salt, water, and yeast, no sugar, in a Dutch oven. Uh, and please consider subscribing. We're going to do a lot more cooking shows over this next little bit while I remain locked up here. So I hope you had a good time. We'll see you guys soon.